Mama's mic. You know his mama missing. I don't know who his mother was like, why, Michael? You could have took Jermaine. Rebe ain't did shit since Centipede. You could have took her. Ah, <laughs> Michael. I'm on the big screen, all right. Ladies, y'all in the building? Ladies, this is what I need you to do. I want you to clap like you took a pregnancy test this morning and that shit was negative. Come on, ladies. Yeah. I'm straight, I'm straight. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, yes! Fellas, 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 we can do better than that. Fellas, I want you to clap your hands like you was on Maury Povich and you are not the father. Come on, fellas. Yeah. Them dudes, dudes be like, I told you, bitch. I told you, bitch. I told you, bitch. Hell <laughs> nah. You know what you're doing, Maury? We should lock that door. Make that girl stay her ass on stage and face the music. She was talking all that shit before she knew the results. Talking about Murray. Who the fuck is Murray? Murray. Murray, I'm 110.7% positive that Alfonso is the father, Murray. Who the hell is Murray? Murray be like, Alfonso is not the father. No! <laughs> Why is this door locked? I'm just saying whore. I was gonna see that because whore. <laughs> this time a girl pissed me off. Get out of my house. Whore. <laughs> I'm hilarious, I tell you. I do live in ATL. But I'm originally from Detroit, that's my hometown. Detroit, my house, my house, Don't shoot, don't shoot. People love representing where they from. Did you see the house? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're in New York, man. New York in the house? Don't them niggas get on your nerves sometimes? Ooh, Yo, son, it's bad. We brought you down here, dude. You see the slope there, you know what I'm saying? See this man wild, yo. And you can tell who's from New York, can't you? It'd be the first day of school. They got on Timberlands, corduroys, leather jacket, snow cap, backpack. Come on, you keeping it real. You keeping it real hot, you better take some of that shit off of you. Pass out. I'm telling you, man, I have done like six homecomings this year. Clark and, and Howard, y'all got some of the finest ladies I've ever seen. All the ladies got it going on. Oh. Oh. Woo, we met this girl out in the park, and I, I was a little lost. So I asked her, so, excuse me, sister, um, I was like, you from Maryland? She's like, hell no, I'm from no Maryland. I said, damn, where you from? She's like, I'm from Baltimore. I said, you know, all the other colleges you've done uh, shows at, how, where does Howard rank? It was uh, it was definitely up there. Um, Bethune Cookman last night off the chain. You know, very religious school. You can't, mm. you, can't you can't even say gosh darn man. For real? Yeah, but it was a good show. A lot of energy here, man. I, I had a ball. I, I, I've I've only been to DC maybe three four times. So what do you think about DC? I'm from oh, DC, from oh, Northwest to be DC. exact. I, I, I'm I'm really feeling DC. What do you think about DC women? I was one of them. Uh, I'm no, gonna say good. yeah, but uh, they good. They, uh, they good, man. They good. They good. We gonna find out tonight. See what they going. You know, I'm just gonna go to the club and where you going tonight? Some, save some souls, you know. What club you want to tonight? I don't know where the Christian girls gonna be at. That's where I'm gonna be at. You know, the penthouse on Georgia Avenue. Ooh, that's, yeah. where be that's where they gonna be at. That's where they gonna. That's where they gonna be at. But um, it seemed like a lot of comedians were restricted on their jokes. 
Do you feel the restriction kind of held you back from how funny you wanted to be, or you think your message got across? Oh no, I got across. I don't, I, I mean, I, I can do anything. I do strip clubs to churches, elementary schools, mm -hmm. to colleges. Uh, funny is funny. You got to, if you want to get paid, you got to do all of it. True. Sure. How long you been doing the comedy circuit? Uh, I've been doing comedy sixteen years. What did you yeah. do? My first break. I'm, I'm still waiting for a break. You still waiting for a break? Yes. I ain't got it yet. You sure about that? I'm funny, but I ain't no breaks yet. You ain't got that break yet. Okay. Break yet. So would the break be say something you're waiting on as far as making that transition to com a TV show, being in a film? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. We got another a guest. Come on in. Come on in. It's an all access interview. I know. I know. I Say hey to the camera. Hey, hey, hey you, I'm coming. Can I go uh, yeah, no problem. Oh, we got we got a restroom. Super oh. boo booing. <laughs> doing an interview. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, coming up in the game, what kind of what comedians did you look up to? Um, I mean, it's a lot of guys you probably never heard of. I mean, the comedy game is uh, unless you and you see it from the outside, it's a different ball game. I mean, most most black people only know ten names in comedy: Ricky Smiley, some more. Uh, J. Anthony Brown and Earthquake and you know Bruce Bruce. They only know the name, yeah. but it's the ninety percent of us out there that's killing. That's killing. And we never get that chance because you only you know, people only request the same ones over and over again. I'm personally tell you, yeah. honestly, when I saw your name on the bill, I never could link you to. A, 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 and I watch all the things they say you've been. I just I did. I'm like I never heard of this dude before, but I'm. Right. You're a fan. I'm a fan yeah, now. See, I'm a fan. I'm talking about, like, man. You, I think. You probably are top ten up and coming. Thank you. Like I know, I, like you know everybody, especially since you've been on House of Pain. Everybody is associated right. with Gary Owens now, but definitely, I think you. Um, and we get let some new people get some money. I feel you. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't care to be famous. I just wanna. You know, just wanna make people laugh. I wanna make people laugh. I wanna be. You know, wanna make a million dollars one day doing this, man. My friend Rollo Boinkins, he's an up and coming comedian. Rollo Boinkins, he, right? Yeah, he was actually performing here last year. He got what, that's a county name, Rollo <laughs> Boinkins. What would you say to up and comer? What would you say to the guy? Um, be yourself. Let me talk about you. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened in your life, that way you ain't worried about no uh, stepping on those hoes. If you talk about your life, what's going on in your life, then you, you know you can't go wrong with that. And just hit stage. You don't know you're funny until you get on that stage. Like, I want to do this. I want to do that. You hit that stage, you'll know. I mean, there was another young lady on stage tonight, you know. I'm we got, we gonna tuck the time. She, I'm not saying she was bad, but she, you find out when you hit that stage. Oh, definitely. I think she, she found out her result. Yeah, you, you, you know, think you funny. You think you funny in history class? Yeah, it's a different story when you hit that stage. See, that's that's me right there. Though. I think I'm <laughs> no. I'll tell you the truth, people think I'm funny because of the things I say. Right. So somebody said me, "Why don't you do comedy?" I'm like, I'm, I can't make put jokes together. I just know how to say stupid stuff on my mouth when you say something ignorant. It's time. True. And that comes